All right, let's work on dividing fractions by a counting number. This here is 1 half divided by 5, and 5 is one of those counting numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, etc. are counting numbers. So we have 1 half divided by 5. What we can do is we can write this as a multiplication problem, where we have 1 half times 1 fifth. And so we have rewritten 5, and that is, we've written divided by 5 as multiplying by 1 fifth, where we place that 5 into the denominator. And we know how to do these types of problems, where we just multiply the numerator, 1 times 1, which is 1, and 2 times 5, which is 10. We multiply those denominators as well. So 1 half divided by 5 is 1 tenth. So 1 half into 5 parts is 1 tenth. And then so it makes sense that if we put together 5 of those 1 tenths, that we would get 1 half. 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 5 and the denominator stays the ten same, 5 tenths, which does equal 1 half. This is all the work right here that you'll need to show as you're continuing with these types of problems. I just wanted to show you as to why it is that it's true. Here we have that problem, 2 thirds divided by 2. Again, we're going to rewrite this 2, and rewrite that divided by 2 as a multiplication, and we're multiplying by that inverse of 2, which is 1 half. 2 is just 2 over 1. So inverting it, we get 1 half. So really, we're going 2 thirds times 1 half. 2 times 1, which is 2. 3 times 2, which is 6. And then we have to simplify that. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 2 thirds divided by 2 is equal to 1 third. Here we have 3 fourths divided by 5. And then so again we rewrite it as a multiplication problem where we're going 3 fourths times the inverse of 5, which is going to be 1 fifth. 3 times 1, which is 3, and 4 times 5, which is 20, and 3 twentieths is already in simplest form. Five sevenths divided by 8. I'm going to rewrite that first as 5 sevenths divided by 8 over 1, and then it's very easy to see that inverse. So we multiply by 1 over 8. 5 times 1 in the numerator is 5, and 7 times 8 in the denominator is 56. 5 is only divisible by 5, and since 56 is not divisible by 5, we know that is already in simplest form. So even when we're dividing, when we're dividing fractions, we're gonna, we know that we're going to need to write our answer into simplest form as well. Okay, it's your turn. Please go ahead and copy down these problems and solve them. Remember to simplify your answer. Hit pause while you're working on these. Okay, for that first problem, you rewrite it as a multiplication problem as 5 ninths times 1 third. Multiplying the, those numerators, you get 5, and in the denominators, you get 27. So 5 ninths divided by 3 is equal to 5 27ths. 2 sevenths divided by 6, we'll write the 2 sevenths times, times what? 1 sixth. 2 times 1 is 2, 7 times 6, which is 42, and that you need to simplify. Dividing the numerator and denominator both by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 42 divided by 2 is 21. So that 2 sevenths divided by 6 
is one twenty first. So again, let's go and review. We have eight ninths divided by four. That's eight ninths divided by, and four can be rewritten as four over one. Where I kept that operation the same. And so when we're dividing fractions, what we're doing is we're multiplying by the inverse. So we have 8 ninths times 1 fourth. 8 times 1, which is 8, and 9 times 4, which is 36. And then so when we're multiplying fractions again, we just multiply the numerators and denominators. Finally, we just have to simplify that. And in simplifying it, we know that both of those are divided, div divisible by 4. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 36 divided by 4 is 9. So again, you remember that you absolutely, when you can, when you can simplify your answer, you should. 8 ninths divided by 4 is equal to 2 ninths. And this does make sense. If I do put 4 of those 2 ninths together, I would get 8 ninths. That does equal 8 ninths, because I had divided by 4 there.